What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Z. Jay's not here right now. She's actually at work. Um. So I'm gonna do my coming out story and tell y'all how that went. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but um. Yeah, I really didn't get to come out to my mom at all. Um, my mom found out from somebody else and seen some pictures from somebody else. So I really didn't get to sit my mom down and be like, hey, mom, I'm gay. Um, I like girls. Never got the chance to. It was technically, oh, are you gay? And like, bam. But. That's how the story goes. So it was like Valentine's Day. I was like, I believe uh, either a sophomore or I was a junior. I don't know. But um, yeah, it was Valentine's Day and like, you know, regular day at school, blah, 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 going about my day. And uh, every Valentine's Day, I was a, a student athlete, so I played basketball. And we had a game that day. And, my, you know, my mom always came to my games. Um, like, literally every fucking game she was there. Um, but she had to work the little concession stand. And, you know, yeah, she didn't have to, she volunteered to, but yeah. Um, <laughs> so, you know, another day, my ex-girlfriend, you know, come to school, which I broke up with like two days before Valentine's Day. And she came to the school with like a bag and some balloons and stuff like and gave it to me. And I was like, oh. This, you know, but I still took it because you know I felt like it was rude, but I didn't give her nothing. Like I really didn't give her nothing, like which I thought was weird. But um, yeah, like she came, she did that, and gave me a hickey on my neck. So like the whole time, like after school, we had a game. Like I'm trying to like put on my warm up suit and like flick the like the collar up <laughs> so my mom can't see and my coach can't see that I have this little fucking hickey on my neck. And man, you know, I'm talking to my best friend and my homegirl, Kiva, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm gonna tell my mom. Like literally, I'm like, I'm telling them, like I'm gonna tell my mom that I'm gay. I'm gonna sit her down, da 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 woo do woo woo. This is like right before the game and stuff. We all sitting down watching, you know, the other teams play. And then my mom, one of the homegirls, Bree, came up and was like, Z, your mom wants you. And I was like, bro, she know. And my best friend was like, no, you don't know that. I was like, bro, she know. Somebody told her, like somebody told her that, you know, I am gay. And man, like I went in the back of the concession, little snacks, and I was like, yeah. She was like, I see it out of her face, like facial expressions can give it all away. Like, like you read, you you can tell if my attitude is right or not in my face, but my mom is just like, bam. If looks can kill, I probably would have dropped day that day. But she was just like, are you gay? And I was like. I don't want to lie to you. I wanted to tell you, but, you know, yeah. And she was just, hmm, okay. We'll talk about this when we get home. Go back and to watch the game. And I was like, okay. <laughs> to remind you, my mom is so petty. <laughs> to remind you, I told y'all that my ex had bought me a gift which was with candy and stuff in it. My mom is eating the candy right in this girl's face. She didn't let me eat my candy. She ate the candy for me. I was like, damn, I couldn't even, like, I'm watching the game eating my damn candy. <laughs> One, that was a horrible ass game, too. I just, from there, like, it was just, the game was over. You know, we got home, I had to talk with my mom. 
you know, she would just ask me, really, really, are you? And I was just like, yes, like, I ain't gonna lie to you, you know? She didn't ask me how long has this been going on. She just kept saying, really, like, she ain't asked nothing new. She was like, just really, really, really. But my biggest, I felt like my mom would have took it real differently if she heard it from somebody else. If she didn't hear it from somebody else and she heard it from me, let me say that right. Um, if you haven't came out to your parents, um, do it on your time, but you got to do it before they hear it from somebody else because it's going to hurt them more hearing it from someone else or seeing it on the internet or anything before you tell them. So, like, if your parents don't know, I advise you just to let them know, like, come out the closet. Even if they don't accept the fact that you are who you are, you just come out. It's going to be a less burner on your chest and on your sh